Oh man, so both Algorand and Koti, as we discussed yesterday, are both heading to the upside, breaking out of key patterns. I've placed a long trade on Algorand, which I'm going to share with you now, but let's take a look at the charts, because these charts have been forming for a long time now. You know I've been updating you guys for a while, and we're finally breaking out of this really big pattern on the daily chart, and we want to ride this to at least all-time highs here at $2.55, if not $2.00 and uh, 77-ish on our technical price target. Now, we know if we head back down to the smaller time frame, I'm just going to head over to the hourly. Now, you can see that we entered this yellow wedge, which we were discussing yesterday, okay? So we were bouncing around in this yellow wedge, and we were waiting for a breakout from this pattern, okay? Now, we finally got our breakout from this pattern. We saw that yesterday, but what's important was we came back down for a retest and got the perfect bounce back up again. So if we head over to the four hourly, you'll be able to see this playing out right now. So we can, we've broken out, but you've also broken out of this big purple pattern. So this is the breakout here. We've come back down and we've bounced back out, okay? So now we're well and truly out of this triangle, and we've got a confirmed breakout, okay? So my position's already in profits here, breaking out of this triangle. Uh, I've got my stop loss below uh, this dip down here at 160, what have I got it on it? 168 uh, there, uh, and we're going to be riding this up to the target. So nice, quick, easy position. We've been monitoring this for a while. We know what we've got on Coty, uh, and we can place a nice uh, swing trade. In the long-term portfolio, uh, obviously, you guys know I believe in Algorand, so I'm not touching that piece. This is just me playing around with a little bit uh, for some trading. Now, let's take a look at Coty as well, because Coty has bounced nicely as well. If you look at the day chart, we've had two green days now taking us out of our buy zone, and so re forming a really nice pattern, which means we've now retested our neckline, and as long as we can keep creating uh, green candles going to the upside we'll be able to get out of this little rut we've been in and go back to test 66 cents so if i head over to the four hourly chart just to take a deeper look we can see what we're forming here okay guys still not a super bullish pattern it's not something i'd be placing a trade on just yet uh but if we could clear past uh this all-time high uh, sorry this local high here at 59 cents then we can start considering ourselves bullish if i bring out the ema ribbon on the four hourly time frame you'll see what i mean like we cannot confirm that this is bullish right we were bullish then we flip bearish then slightly bullish back bearish back bullish, back bearish, back bullish. So until we get a sustained extension here from the EMA ribbon, we break above this high here and head towards our 66 target, then we cannot uh, remain bullish. But if we break past 66, that's a definite entry uh, at an all-time high. That's a buy, and you can ride this up to the top of the uh, the broader pattern which we've been waiting for at 81 cents on Coty. okay so we're still holding that price target we just need to curl back up get to the 66 break the 66 and we can then head back up to that target on the long run so let's take a look at it again on the daily just so i can show you how the ema differs so you saw there on uh on the hourly chart, how we were flipping bearish and then flipping bullish, we can't really sustain a pattern. On the daily, however, it's a beautiful bounce on the EMA ribbon, okay? You can see that here. You can see this beautiful uh, extension come back down, a bit of a prolonged test, okay? Came back down slightly, and then now we're bouncing, okay? Two solid daily candles. It looks like that low, which penetrated the EMA ribbon, the wick down to 47 cents, is the lowest we're gonna see for now. And now we just gotta get out and keep creating um, higher lows and start trending ourselves upwards we've got room on the rsi we need volume to come in and then we can see Coty really start to get out of this and test our new levels back onto luna on the daily uh, sorry not luna we'll look at algorand let's look at algorand uh, back on the daily and you can see how we got that lovely bounce off of our email ribbon everything coincided perfectly for this trade guys uh, so if you imagine you were we we monitor this together guys and you know what i love I love is some confluence. What I mean by confluence is I want different time frames and different patterns to show me the same thing. And that's exactly what we saw here. Okay. Let's look at this very simply first. So first things first, we had up, uh, we penetrated the ribbon, we bounced back up, penetrating the ribbon, bounced back up, penetrated, hovered for a little while, and we started bouncing. Great. So I love this on the day chart that we, you know, I was I was bullish that we were going to bounce off this EMA ribbon. Now on this daily time frame, we're also breaking out of this big purple triangle, right? So I could see that we were heading in this yellow wedge on the hourly and the four hourly, 
waiting for a breakout. And if we broke, broke out of that yellow wedge in there, that means simultaneously we're going to come out of the larger pattern. And that's the beauty behind playing these trades because you can trade the trade on the smaller time frame and you get yourself an entry point for the longer term trade, riding us up here to $2.76. And you can see this daily candle really just took you from the bottom of the wedge all the way to the top. It was a really powerful move because it came off of the EMA ribbon. Otherwise, you wouldn't have had a bounce like that because because it came off the EMA ribbon, the balls came in, stepped in and pushed us up. Now, to be honest, I'd want to see more volume. We're not going to break through these difficult levels here, particularly at two dollars and nine cents without some volume. Uh, I'm monitoring on the five chart on the five minute chart on my other monitor here. And uh, we need to see some volume coming in. I mean, we've got that key level at two dollars and five cents, which we two dollars and nine cents, which we know is uh, some resistance dating back to the fourth of October. We monitor that closely, and we don't want to get stuck or sent back down here for support. So we need to get some volume in and head higher in order for us to maintain our price targets on our grand. Okay, so that's really important for us there. Other things to look at, uh, Bitcoin slightly flat today, 0.36. Uh, you can see that uh, Bitcoin dominance, let's take a quick look at Bitcoin dominance. Uh, I'll take out, take off my EMA ribbon and you can see here dominance is still heading to the downside. Although Bitcoin did try to fight for the last two days, we've opened up red again today and we can clearly see that all coins are showing strength, guys. All coins are definitely showing strength today. You've got Phantom up. I'm going to make a separate video on Phantom because it's absolutely rocketing. Uh, Phantom doing really well, but just generally yesterday, all coins were doing really well, and that's what's leading the dominance uh, to come down to that side. Let's look at a total uh, market cap, and you can see this is climbing as well. Okay, so this excludes BTC. So this is your total market cap of all the altcoins, excluding BTC, and you can see fresh money is coming into crypto, into altcoins. You can see this trend. We've come out of our box where we're kind of going sideways. We've cleared out now to the upside, uh, which is showing more money is coming into altcoins. And guys, that's the best way to be doing things. You know my view on this. There's no point timing Bitcoin and altcoins, right? I've said this from the start when other influencers were telling you otherwise. I, you know, I didn't try to act smart and say, no, I'm going to time it. I'm going to go into Bitcoin now, get my pump in Bitcoin, move across into altcoins. I just admitted I, I can't do that, right? I don't know when the market's going to move. I'm going to put as much as I can in Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin runs to 100 right now, I'm good. I try to put in them as much as I can. But at the same time, I've got enough in my Phantoms, in my Solanas, in my Cardano, in my Lynx, in my Matics, because they're moving now, right? So when Bitcoin's just gone flat today for the last couple of days, where it's just trying to find its level, it's had a slight retracement back down, all coins are naturally going to move. And so now that we're getting slightly some stronger altcoin dominance and we're heading to more of an altcoin friendly environment, I'm happy too, right? Because I never sided with one or the other. I just positioned my portfolio. And now if altcoins suddenly, so you get all those people who are moving from Bitcoin now into altcoins because they're seeing altcoins moving, but then Bitcoin could easily go for a run now. Bitcoin could literally come in today and just go 10% up and then you're going to be panicking back out again. Please don't do that. Let's just get into our favorite positions. Uh, this is not financial advice. At the end of the day, you can do what you want, right? But uh, if you position it in the, conviction plays which you have which you know which if you've watched my videos you know i say that a lot that's going to serve you the best because you've got to be able to hold coins when they're going down and you need to have the conviction to not sell them or not panic because you believe in those projects okay there you go guys that's what we're seeing on algorand i've placed my trade uh, i'm long on algorand right now Cody's bouncing from a key level doing really well you know, I'm also long Phantom as well. Phantom's doing fantastic. Uh, and both of those, all three of those are, sorry, long-term holds for me anyway, okay? But I just do some trading on the side for a bit of fun. So as always, uh, do your research, uh, trade at your own risk. Make sure you can only trade with what you can afford to lose and if you're experienced. Uh, and if you enjoy my blend of fundamental and technical analysis, then please consider subscribing, hitting the like button. I really support us. We've just managed to break 3000 subscribers on this channel and I couldn't have done it without each and every one of you, literally each and every one of you hitting that like button uh, makes the world of difference for a small channel like this. So thank you so much for helping. If you want to support the channel even further, if you feel like I've added value to you, then please hit the join button. You will become a member of this channel. It supports the channel, but more importantly, you'll get access to me on the community thread. So if you know, you're struggling to catch me in a live stream or I don't cover the token that you want to cover, you can ask me over there. I can do some TA. I can give you my inputs on some of your favorite projects. I'll link as always in the pin comment, the link to our free public discord. Head, head over there. The community is really starting to build out. Ask your questions, ask uh, advice from everybody. Everybody's super friendly and like-minded, which is really helpful. I spend time in the, there as well, giving updates on when I'm entering trades, on screenshots on the charts and what I'm thinking on top of all the videos I'm posting. Uh, and I'll answer your questions there as well. Thank you for joining guys and we'll see you in the next one.